I had these old coins and I found that they were made of an alloy called cupronickel. So I decided to extract nickel from the coins. But they contain 75% copper and 25% of nickel. Or it could range from 85 to 15% copper and nickel also. So for that I am adding the coins in aqua regia containing excess of hydrochloric acid and I will heat it. The reaction is given on the screen. On heating the reaction becomes faster and you can see that evolution of a brown gas which is nitric oxide which turns into nitrogen dioxide by oxidation of air. The resultant solution is green due to nickel chloride as well as cupric chloride. So now after the reaction is over, we will heat the solution to boiling for several minutes. As you can see the green solution is turning into brown solution that is due to the formation of cuprous chloride complex which is brown in color. Now I stoppered it after cooling. And meanwhile I, I prepared sulfur dioxide solution. I put the stopper tight so that air does not go in. Now I took this brown solution and my sulfur dioxide solution that I prepared by bubbling sulfur dioxide in water and I poured this solution into the sulfur dioxide solution. On dilution, cuprous chloride gets precipitated. And sulfur dioxide also reacts with some cupric chloride to turn it into cuprous chloride. I accidentally spilled some of the solution but it's okay. You can see that the white precipitate of cuprous chloride is settling down. Now it's time to filter this solution. So over here I am using a regular gravi gravity, met gravity filtration. You can see that the filtrate is green in color. It is due to nickel chloride as well as cupric chloride because both the salts are green in color. But the cupric chloride color is more bluish green and dark in color as compared to nickel chloride. Filtering takes some time. So, so after we have filtered the solution, boil the solution to expel extra sulfur dioxide. After boiling, the solution attains a bluish tint. But to check and to remove all the impurities of copper 2 plus ion, we pass hydrogen sulfide gas inside the solution in presence of dilute HCl. Since there are already dilute HCl in the solution, I am not adding more acid in this green solution. This is due to the common ion effect. On In acidic medium, concentration of hydrogen sulfide becomes so less that only Sulfides of group 2 gets precipitated in which copper is present and group 4 in which nickel is present does not get precipitated. That is it stays in solution. So same principle I will be using here to separate copper ions from nickel solution. On passing hydrogen sulfide a black PPT of copper sulfide is formed. I am filtering this precipitate I am using here regular gravity filtration 
I washed the precipitate with some amount of water. That's why its volume is increased. Now I will pour this solution into hydrogen sulfide solution to check that whether our copper is absent. But no, there is a formation of black precipitate which indicates the presence of copper ions in our solution. So again I have to pass hydrogen sulfide gas into this solution until all of the copper gets removed. So I boiled the solution and reduced its volume. Now I will pass hydrogen sulfide into this solution for sufficient amount of time. I poured hydrochloric acid to iron sulfide. In the beginning reaction not seem to be happen but after some time bubbles of hydrogen sulfide gas are seen in the second test tube and a formation of a black PPT takes place. I let the hydrogen sulfide gas pass for several minutes. After the formation of hydrogen sulfide ceased, I removed the, the boiling tube and filtered this solution. There were spiders inside the funnel that came out of the funnel when I poured in the solution. You can see that the filtrate is light green in color. Now to this solution, I will again pass hydrogen sulfide gas to check the absence of copper. I heated the iron sulfide solution to generate hydrogen sulfide gas. The delivery tube actually contained some amount of copper sulfide that came into our solution otherwise no black precipitate was formed. So this time I was assured that we have removed all of our copper. I again filtered this solution. And then I evaporated it. These are the crystals of nickel chloride hexahydrate. 